are at Photo Plus Expo with Dan from On One, the makers of some amazing software plugins and both standalone versions of software. That's right. So your hot new thing coming out is Photo Raw, right? Yeah, On One Photo Raw coming out in the, the late later half of November. It's the next version in our On One Photo line. It's the first one to add a brand new, state of the art, built from the ground up raw processing engine. It's lightning fast. It's all processed in the GPU. So it can open photos in a quarter of a second, process them in real time at 60 frames per second, wow. screaming fast. You get a brand new develop module for doing all that raw processing. It has local adjustments, it has uh, outstanding noise reduction, and even built-in skin retouching right at the raw processing level. You can take that nice. results from develop, go straight into our effects module, which is now all merged together in the same 32-bit imaging pipeline. So you can actually use develop and effects at the same time, instantly transition between the two. In effect, you have over 23 stackable filters that you can stack on top of each other, control their opacity, their blending modes, and even mask them with a whole range of masking tools. And that's all done now in a non-destructive workflow. It's all saved as instructions that you can synchronize across multiple photos in the new film strip view instantly. Nice. So it'll wow. make your workflow a ton faster. So it's like layers. Yeah, you can think of it like backwards. layers for raw. That's right. the really cool thing about it. And you could actually even take multiple photos and merge them together in the layers module. If you wanted to do composites for doing things like background swaps or head replacements, you can do all that still starting with that raw data at the bottom of the pile, all still completely non-destructive. And the cool part is you can copy and paste those settings across multiple photos with things you could never do in another raw processor, doing things like textures and borders in a non-destructive way. So you're kind of incorporating multiple tasks then through one type of interface. Yep. As opposed to having, a, you know, in previous workflows, you'd be in Lightroom, you're jumping into Photoshop, then you're back going back to Lightroom two yep. or three yeah. times. Exactly. You can do it all in one place now gotcha. in an affordable package that you can own. You don't have to subscribe to it. And you can put it on five computers at a time. And that's really so big. Right? I know with our viewers, right, it's mm -hmm. always been, for you guys out there, it's always been, you know, Two or three years ago, once uh, Adobe decided to do the subscription model, right? All of a sudden, we got a lot of feedback. Is there anything that we can buy out there that will do the same thing? And basically, what you're saying is this is one of those things yep, that exactly. you can actually purchase, and you're not paying like leasing a car, basically, indefinitely. Yep. That's nice. Yep, you own it. You still get all free upgrades. So when new cameras come out, when we add new features, those are all free upgrades for the first year until the next major version comes out. Right. And coming day one, it's going to be a great, powerful product, but we know it's not going to have everything that every photographer wants. So we're being very public about the additional features that you're going to get for free over that year in terms of the dot releases. Nice. So you can actually, when, when it comes out, you'll actually be able to see the list of what's coming. And that's actually driven by our customers. You can go to our website, you can put in your suggestions, you can vote on other people's people's oh, suggestions nice. and that drives the product like that, yeah. So that's great. it's not just a bunch of engineers sitting in a room figuring out how to twiddle the bits, it's really photographers building software for other photographers. And now yeah. how about like for example, in, uh, example, Canon came out with the 5D Mark IV, right? Mm -hmm. Just recently. How long will it take for that release to come out whereas now we can play with the raw files, we can play with maybe DP raw and mm -hmm. mess around with you know their new feature or whatever it is, how long will it take approximately? We try to do it pretty fast. Uh, there will be a raw update usually every quarter or so, and it just kind of depends on where you fall within that range. We'll be probably a very close schedule to what like Apple and Adobe do. We have to be able to get the camera, we have to be able to do some tests sure. on it, so it, it, you really got to get it in your hands to do a good job of it, but we'll do our best to get it out as fast as possible. Fantastic. Now, On One has always had pretty tight integration with Adobe products in the past, mm -hmm. either through plugins or... Now, will Photo Raw still work with the Adobe products? It definitely will. So many of our customers rely on Lightroom or Photoshop or both for their workflow, and moving to Photo Raw doesn't mean you have to give up those, those options. You can still use it as a plugin to Lightroom or Photoshop, accessing those individual modules, okay. and it will also work as a host to other plugins as well. So from Browse, you can access things like the Google Nick plugins, directly from our browse module or any other standalone application that you can con configure for it. So it's right. pretty open. If you want to take advantage of that raw processing, non-destructive workflow, you kind of have to do that on its own in our workflow to be able to get that just like every other raw processor. Sure. Right. So this is moved from a catalog type base where you're actually image editing in the directory structure, right? You can pick the files and you edit. You don't have to load it all into one big catalog like you would, for example, with Lightroom or multiple catalogs and that that really makes that churning and chugging and chugging everything starts going slow you can actually do these immediately right do those edits yeah exactly there's there's no what you think of as a catalog there's not like a document that you create that keeps right. track of all of that 
That doesn't mean there's not a database behind it. There's a powerful database that still enables all sorts of great searching capabilities to be able to search by path or keywords or descriptions or stars GPS or location. Yeah, or you can certainly do stars and filtering and things like that. Um, but you don't have to go through that long cataloging process. You know, most tools, they're, they're a database first and a browser second. We're kind of the opposite. We want to keep that fast browse tradition there. So you just point it at your photos wherever they live. You'll see thumbnails instantly. You'll see metadata instantly. You can start to work on those photos right away. In the background, we're still doing those catalog tasks. Right. We're still going through, right. we're getting all the metadata. We're still generating larger preview versions of it. We're still putting all that into a database so that it can Creating search. XMP yep. kind of sidecar type exactly. of stuff. Okay. Exactly. We just gotcha. do that in the background so you don't have to wait for it. So you can get to work right away, but still get all the benefits. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I have to ask, with powerful software, you often need very powerful hardware. Mm -hmm. um, is this light enough to run on lower end laptops, like, a, like an Air? It actually is. The, the really great thing about it is everything moved from the CPU to the GPU, from the, from the main processor of the computer to the graphics card. And those graphics cards have some really great unique capabilities that even on a very lightweight machine, I use a little 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro, which right, is an sure. Intel video card, sure. not a very powerful one, right. and everything's real time, buttery smooth, and that's even on a retina display, which is wow. like 2,500 pixels. Right. Um, basically, all you need is a video card that's compatible with OpenGL 3.3, which is any video card in about the last seven or eight years. As long as you update your driver, if you're on a Mac, you don't have to worry about it. It's up to date all the time on Windows. Just make sure your video card drivers are up to date and you're in good shape. Besides that's RAW, great. is there anything else that you guys are kind of pushing right now? Something that's uh, fantastic, something that folks can take a look at? One thing that a lot of people don't know about is our app called Photovia for your iPhone and your iPad. And it allows you to take photos that are in your browse database, whether you're on 10.5 or on RAW when it comes out. You can publish that content from your desktop to your iPhone and it allows you to browse them remotely, share them with other people, post it to Instagram, or do remote rating and labels, which is what I do. I'll do a shoot, it'll be on my big desktop computer upstairs, but I can sit down on my couch on the iPad and I can go through and do my tagging and rating and picking right, out my yeah, favorites. Right, right. All that just gets transmitted back upstairs to the big computer. Or if you're in a studio so. and you do a shoot, let's say a portrait shoot, you can hand the client, you know, a nice big... Uh, yeah, they have a nice big iPad, yeah, they, can they can flip through. Flip through. Oh, I like that one, they hit a star and... Yeah, that's, that's right. Exactly. Awesome. So if anyone wants to know exactly where you are, where the product is, or anything about the product, where's the best place for them to go? Best place to go is right to our website, onone.com, O-N-number-one.com. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Well, great. Thanks so much. You've been watching the Digital Photography Cafe Show with Trevor Curran and Joseph Christina. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with any compatible device by visiting youtube.com forward slash dphotocafe. Be sure to subscribe to our audio feed through iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Xbox Music apps or through RSS. Visit digitalphotographycafe.com for show notes and to connect with your hosts.